Serious Real Talk, Screen Time, Social Media, Confessions. I spent all day on social media, saving photos and going down a variety of rabbit holes. And I did have many moments where I pulled myself out of it and was able to pause, breathe, blink, and change my location. However, I noticed this desire continuing to come back to keep scrolling and finding images that were aesthetically pleasing and oddly satisfying. It's so strange that despite the awareness and the intention, it kept bringing me back for more. Throughout the day, I noticed physical elements throughout my body that were whispering signs of strain. And as we all know, the body whispers before it screams. That screaming sensation felt like my arms and hands going numb from bending them to hold my phone close to my face, tension in my neck from looking down at the screen, and believe it or not, my butt even fell asleep. Yep, that's real. So following up with our previous conversations about digital flourishing and how to create boundaries to be healthy and rethink our relationships with technology is an evolving conversation. However, it's so important not to feel guilty. Pausing and reframing why we might have been doing something, what the value was and what the impact is and what learning lesson we're now walking away from it with empowers us to make a choice to be courageous and step forward outside of our comfort zones. This is going to continually challenge us to be agile and adapt to new challenges and temptations that come up along the way. It's so important to come back to compassion because when we're able to open our minds with curiosity to look deeper at a situation, we can then reflect and take away action items for us to incorporate in our future decision making and transform our toolbox of responses and reactions to those trigger events. Now, there's no regrets, so I don't regret all of my screen time. And I appreciate my awareness for pausing and documenting this experience and reflection while it's still fresh in my mind as I'm transforming through this time together. There's so much exciting material that we're covering as a community around the globe as we're all experiencing this vast shift and vision towards the future of what our relationships will be like online and offline, if that's even possible. Anything's possible. So if you can imagine it, it can be. And I invite us all to picture and feel the sensations of our wildest dreams. So as we continue these courageous conversations and taking action with strides forward, may we continue to embrace compassion and lift each other up by shining our light as bright as we can as it's a reflection of the light within us all. I appreciate your presence, awareness, and openness. Until next time.